John here and today we're taking a look at the Kuat NV 2.0 bike rack on our 2022 Toyota Venza. This is going to be a great choice if you need to take your mountain bikes, your electric bikes, any kind of bike that you really need. Now right off the bat let's go over some of the specs so you kind of have an idea of what you can put on this bike rack and there's not too many bikes that you can't put on. Uh, whenever it comes to how it's being held. It's being held by the back tire here with a strap and then also this hook right here. And it's gonna be pushed up right onto the bike uh, wheel itself. So there's gonna be no frame contact, which means if you have any carbon frame bikes or odd shaped frame bikes, you're gonna be fine to have this on there. Along with that, it's gonna have a 60 pound weight capacity, which is really good. It's going to be able to handle most of your uh, bigger mountain bikes, some of your e-bikes. I would definitely check out and make sure that if you are putting an e-bike on here that it's fitting the weight capacity, but overall it should be able to fit it just well. Along with that, it's going to be able to have fat tire bikes as well, though you may have to uh, play around with it and get a different strap that you can buy here at e-trailer. Either way, it's also going to have the ability to tilt away. It's one of the smoothest tilt aways in my opinion you're just gonna use this little handle right here, press the button. And with our Venza, we have more than enough room. Really, I can step in here, turn around if I need to hand something to somebody. I don't have to worry about it being too close. And then just close it back up once I have my helmet and anything else I need. It's also gonna be very easy to grab it and put it back into place. Though I will let you know that if you have a second bike, it may be a little tough to get here, as you can see, the little handle is right here, so you're gonna to have to kind of maneuver your way through there. But overall, it's still a very easy process. Along with being an easy process, taking off the bike is also on the easier side with the NV. All you have to do is do, take off the strap and then move this hook down and then pop it off. Takes just a couple seconds. Compared to some other ones, I have messed with the on ramp today and it has a little bit of trouble getting everything taken off it along with some of the other Hollywood racks. But overall this is probably one of the quickest and easiest and as you see it'll ratchet down the hook as you get at the very end and then you're ready to go. Now we're going to check out some of the measurements that we have. You're going to want to know how much it's going to come off the back of your vehicle. You're going to have about 30 inches from the back of your vehicle to the back of the bike rack. You just wanna know that if you're backing up or you're parking somewhere. Along with that, ground clearance is going to be right about 22 for the back area. So you wanna keep that in mind if you're going up a hill or rocky terrain, because as your front goes up, your back's gonna go down. Now, if you wanna cut down on the space, all you have to do is fold it up and that's cut down significantly. Along with that, you can see that there's going to be little ridges here that you can kick down so you can push it back up in case, let's say you have in one hand your bike and you only have one hand to work with. You can put it there and that's gonna cut down about 13 to 13 inches, so that's really, really good. Along with that, it's not gonna to get too close to your vehicle. You're gonna have three inches to work with. As you can see, I can fit my whole hand back here. So you don't have to worry about it getting any closer or scuffing up the back of your vehicle. Along with something that's going to be the difference between uh, the Kuat NV and the Kuat NV base is this little part right here that we're gonna pop out. to be able to tighten that back down. And let's say that you need to make just a couple of quick fixes onto your bike. This is gonna give you the ability to pop your bike in, make those fixes and then get back on the road. Now the shank is gonna go into a two inch hitch and it's gonna be held in place by this bolt and locking mechanism. Along with that, it is going to be held very much tightly in place by this anti-rattle mechanism as I undo this. As you can see, it's moving around, shaking, but just takes a little bit of time for me to tighten it back up. And out of all of the ways to tighten up your bike rack, I personally think that this anti-rattle system is one of the best, because as you can see as I'm shaking it around, there's no shake or play, so you don't have to worry. It's one of our best bike racks. If you want a premium bike rack that's gonna get you and a friend's bike to and from, 
this is the one to go with. It's got all the bells, all the whistles, it can lock up. And that was a look at our Kuat NV 2.0 bike rack on our 2022 Toyota Venza. Thanks for watching.